In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to encrypt with JavaScript using some basic hashing functions. So if we're looking at encrypting some data that the user's provided to us, so that it can't be read by any malicious attacker, we'll probably want to use a one-way hashing algorithm, which takes a bit of plain text data and converts it into a hash that can then be safely stored and then can't be decrypted later on. So JavaScript and the web APIs provided by all the common browsers don't really provide us with these hashing algorithms out of the box, as they're generally tasks that are done on the server side anyway, but let's have a look at a couple of ways that you can create these hashes in the browser with JavaScript. So the first hash we'll look at using is the MD5 hash, and we're actually going to import a script from a third party library from a provider called blueimp. So I've just created a new script element and provided it the source attribute of the Cloudflare CDN link to the MD5 library. And I'm just going to add it to the head of the document we're currently working on. So that will actually give us a function on our window object simply called MD5, which takes a bit of plain text and converts it into an MD5 hash. So you can see the MD5 hash of password is this long combination of letters and numbers. And if you know anything about hashing algorithms or web security in general, you'll probably have heard that MD5 is quite insecure, simply because it doesn't take a lot of computing power to generate these hashes. So a brute force attack can go through many combinations and identify what the original string was. But the MD5 function is quite useful because it does have some uses, such as the Gravatar service, for example. So when you're getting the URL of a Gravatar image, you actually need to use the MD5 hash of the actual email address of the user for whose image you're actually trying to get. So that's just one example where MD5 might be useful. You don't necessarily want to provide strong encryption, but you do want to take some effort to hide the email address that's being used. So a bit of a strong algorithm is the SHA256 or SHA256 hashing algorithm, and you can use this to create a more strongly encrypted version of your plain text. And there's a package available to do this as well, which I'll just import into our document. So that now provides us with another function that we can use to create a more strongly encrypted version of our plain text. And so you can see it's very similar to the MD5 hash, but it's a lot longer, meaning it takes a lot more computing power to successfully guess the original plain text. So that's just a couple of ways that you can use JavaScript to encrypt plain text. You might of course want to use a different algorithm and I'm sure there's a library for that if you just do a quick search in either the NPM repository or on GitHub and then it's simply a matter of importing it into your project and using the relevant functions.